What's good YouTube box out here? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to get your Xbox app to let you sign in on Windows 10. It's a very annoying situation. In this video, I have three different options that'll let you resolve that issue. Right now, I wanna take the time to say, I hope you're having a great day, great night. Whenever you're watching this, you wanna come over to your settings by hitting the Windows key, and then you wanna hit settings, and then you wanna go up and hit home. Once you're at home, you wanna select apps and features, and then once you're there, you wanna type in Xbox, and then once you type in Xbox, you wanna click it. And then once you click it, you want to go to advanced options. You might be wondering why I have two. This is the new Xbox app. This is the old one. I like the old one more, but we're not going to get into that. So you want to hit advanced options. You can do this on both also. Once you hit advanced options, you want to scroll all the way down until you see reset. You want to reset this app. The next thing you could try is clicking Windows and then typing in system configuration. And then you want to come over to services. And then once you're in services, you want to go to anything dealing with Xbox and make sure that it's all checked. If it's unchecked, make sure it's checked. Then you want to hit apply. The third way is by simply going into your task manager, going over to services, and then you want to click open services. Once you do that, this screen right here will pop up. And all you have to do is just go to anything dealing with Xbox and you see how they all say something dealing with triggered or something like that. If you right click on it and go to properties, if anything dealing with Xbox is set to disabled, you want to change it all to manual. This will allow the actual computer and the app to do exactly what it's supposed to do. And then all you do is just come over, click the sign in, type in your information, and then you're all set to go. And after you're doing all of these different steps, if you want to, after each step, you can restart your computer, but save time. I just restarted my computer after I finished all of them and then signed in and I was all ready to go. This also helped my other app, the older Xbox app, to let me sign in on that as well because that was giving me issues. So if this video helped you out, please slam the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.